Hey, it's Holly from Living It Country, and today is day four of the 10 Home Tours in 10 Days series. And today we have Tanya from Free Range Cottage on Instagram sharing her gorgeous home tour today. I am so excited. If you guys love thrifted finds, DIYs, and furniture makeovers, you guys are going to adore her and her home. So let's go ahead and tour her home today. Hi, I'm Tanya and I have a channel right here on YouTube called Free Range Cottage and I'm really happy to be over here on Holly's channel. I think she does such a great job with living at country and I love her farmhouse style and all of her house tours and so many ideas and so much inspiration. So I thought I would take you through my summer house tour today. We are in progress. Our house isn't perfect. It's built in 1980. We've lived here 17 years. We've done a lot of remodeling, but it's all been on a very tight budget. We really haven't changed the footprint of the house. We've worked with what we have. And now, you, as you can imagine, uh, even things that I did maybe 10 years ago, I'm wanting to redo. But we do a lot of thrifting. We love to do estate sales and flea markets. And we love to just DIY and keep things on a really tight budget. It's been raining and raining and raining here. So I'm happy to have a sunny day to start you out here on the outside. Even though it's kind of a mess back here, I'm gonna show you a little bit and then we'll walk in. And I'm kind of gonna focus on the things that I decorated with uh, that, are, that are thrift. And by thrift, I mean from flea markets or Facebook marketplace or garage sales. So let's go ahead and start the tour. Okay, so here we go. We have, we're on 1.67 acres. And just walking up, when we first bought this house, it was just a little tiny concrete slab right there with a lot of gravel on either side. And we went ahead and added this trellis. This is actually the second trellis that we've added. We had a white, almost more cottagey one before, and it kind of uh, got the worst for wear. So we added in this one, more modern farmhouse. And I'm really happy with it. You can see my poor um, flowers there are not liking. These are sun lovers and they've been having way too much rain on them. But these chairs are from Walmart. They're the egg chairs and they go in and out of uh, stock but I had one and I decided to grab another one because it's done really well out here I actually throw those cushions in the washer and they wash up beautiful and so I've been really happy with that and gives it kind of a boho vibe we have sort of a gray blue color on our house which I would love to change and uh, we'll see if that ever happens but when you walk in the first thing you'll see is our little tiny, tiny entryway. And we do have stairs that go up right away, right when you walk in. This is an area in transition. We're gonna be putting some shiplap, but I just went ahead and put some of my artwork. This is some thrift, these are thrifted here, these um, marine maps and in the black and white and I just love them. I found those at a flea market not too long ago and plants actually do well here by this little window and that is a buffalo picture that we took ourselves and that is a couple of Audubon prints that I pulled out of a book that was um, that you can get right on Amazon and I just framed them and then we have our light fixtures. There's one up there and one here and those were from Hobby Lobby quite some time back. And my clock there that has been painted many, many, many times. And I just recently put um, some stripper on it and got a lot of the paint off. Over here, we've got a little coat rack that we made out of vintage hooks that we had gathered from different flea markets and stuff. And these are a couple of cute little hats that I just recently got at an estate sale. And I don't know quite where they're going to go yet. That one's not wanting to hang. There you go. 
And then on into our living room, we're about, we have about 2,100 square feet, but that includes the upstairs. So this downstairs area is pretty modest. And part of the reason why I, why I call it a cottage is because it's got really quirky spaces. We've got a shiplap wall that we added in onto our loft up there. But you can see nothing is really symmetrical in here. They did sort of this step back fireplace. And I did do a German schmear on that a while back and I've got a video all about that on the channel. These sofas, this end table, um, this coffee table, and that little cabinet back there are all thrifted and you'll be shocked these are restoration hardware couches and i've got a whole video on um, when i found those they are linen and we love them they're so comfortable and this was a really tough room to figure out how to arrange because of that window there the tv if i put it there was always in front of the window on this side we've got a little firebox and we had had it above the fireplace and it just sort of dominated the room and i hated it so I ended up, you see my tripod out the window there. I ended up putting it back over on this wall, which um, works out really well. It's on a, let me back up. It's on sort of an arm that can pull out and turn and stuff. So the way the couches are positioned, we actually, it works really well for watching TV in here, but also for focusing on the fireplace and such. And you can see out our big picture window, we have a little bird bath and we have our bird feeders and we sit here in the morning and unless we can sit outside, we love sitting outside drinking our coffee. And I'll show you that German schmear up closer. It just really brightened up. This is sort of the native stone of our area and it was just very dark. And this big Audubon print here was thrifted for $10. And it was in this black frame, but I finally got tired of the frame. I really couldn't work with it. And I switched that out recently. I love live plants in the house. Most of them are outside summering <laughs> on the deck, but usually it looks pretty much like a little bit of a jungle in here. And you can see my curtain rods are sitting back there waiting to go up. And this cabinet, I just absolutely love. It's been a really neat find. And I'm actually finding a lot of things to put in here. My granddaughter is like, what can you put in those drawers? Look at all my seeds in there. So I'm kind of happy about that. But this was an estate sale find. And um, if you haven't seen any of my estate sale hauls or thrift hauls, you may want to check that out. I've got a whole playlist and it's a lot of fun. And I think we got, yep, we got some visitors to the bird bath. And this is Hazel, and she is the one responsible for squishing down my pillows on my couch at all times. Hazel, are you sleepy? She's always sleepy or hungry, one or the other. So the um, this rug I just added in for a little color. I like a lot of neutrals, but for the summer I wanted a little bit of color, and that's from Boutique Rugs. And the other striped rug, I believe, is from Rugs USA. And then I have, this is all thrifted decor here. I got these huge conch shells for a dollar each at an estate sale. The bowl is from a flea market. The sheepskin is from an estate sale. My little pile of design books and garden books. I love to look at those. These were all thrifted finds all of these pieces up here, including the tobacco basket I got off of Facebook Marketplace for $30, which I thought was a great deal because it is an actual antique basket. And these great little olive trees, olive topiaries, I just got from my friend Melanie's shop. And she had two left and I had to grab them. Over here in the dining area, this has been another area that's in flux. A lot of places in my house are in flux, but hopefully it's bright enough in here for you. It's kind of cloudy right now um, on the other, on this darker side of the house. 
but this cabinet is an apothecary cabinet I just finished I did thrift it and I will show before and after on that I don't even have the drawer pulls on it yet but I'm really pretty happy with how it turned out let me get up closer to it so I can show you the finish I did an Annie Sloan Paris gray underneath and then I did a farmhouse milk paint Miss Mustard Seed milk paint on top and I'm really happy with it it was very yellow and orangey it was very pretty pine wood but it was either gonna get completely stripped down or get a nice paint job and um, it was a beast even to get it painted so I can't imagine stripping it it just oh, it would have probably sat in the garage for way too long it was already in there quite a long time um, these chairs these wicker chairs are from Ikea I've got some artwork that I'm working on right now the table is from World Market and the chairs with the slip covers are from Ikea also and also I wanted to say my couches over here are slip covered I don't know if I had said that but they all go in the wash and it's about time for them to get thrown in the wash again and they are just beautiful wash up great this blanket here it's so funny because it's not really my colors in here but it is so comfy I thrifted it and everybody loves it including the dog and it won't stay on the back of this couch for very long because everybody loves it. It's just the right weight and it's cozy and comfortable. And there is, we do have a nice beam and a high ceiling in that living room. And then backing up here, there's another beam when you walk into the dining room. But this opening going into the kitchen was not here. Let me swing around and show you what this dining room used to be this opening was not there either there were no openings in this dining room it was a little black hole oh that chandelier is also thrifted off of facebook marketplace i am completely obsessed with it the beaded goodness of it oh my gosh just so happy with that we had to really mess around with it to get it up high enough i think it was made for a very high ceiling and i've got a vintage um, ladder over there that i thrifted but this opening brought in so much light there was a window just going down the hallway to the garage and there was a window in it so it didn't make a lot of sense to us so then we opened it up here and we just recently did a diy makeover on our kitchen and I've got a whole playlist on that and I've got a better, I mean, I've got a more in-depth video on my kitchen, on certain areas of the kitchen. I've got a hood DIY, which is, um, was so exciting to me because they were so expensive and we were able to do that one for gosh, less than $40. I was so excited. And we added the countertops and the tile and the lighting. The lighting really makes such a difference. And we did this DIY island that we did with Ikea cabinets. And I've got full two full videos on that. And I show you, pull open all the drawers and show you the inside and all of that good stuff. Um, when we moved in here, it was for Mica countertops and an orange stove i mean it was very dated but i do what i did love about it it it's got seven foot high ceilings i don't love that which makes it feel smaller than it should feel but we loved the location the lot that it's on we have like i said we have over an acre and a half and we've got woods behind us and it's really really a private we have neighbors we're in a neighborhood but it just feels very private and very comfortable. And let me back up over here. That's the door to my um, pantry and I've got an entire video on how we changed this out here. Built this little door, got rid of the door there and made, built out a pantry right there. This is another area in flux, which is um, this wall heading over to where my bedroom's at. And I had, my little hobbit cabinet which i didn't probably show you there's back to the entry 
and I didn't show this cabinet that I had just recently bought. We just ship left this wall and we're gonna keep carrying that through on these other walls and up the stairway. But this cabinet is a gorgeous vintage, if not antique pine cabinet. And um, we had bought that at an estate sale and I call it my Hobbit cabinet because it's just got that patina that looks like it could belong in a little hobbit house. And I also kind of hoard some dishes in here, much like a hobbit <laughs> would probably do. But I love my lettuceware and I have all kinds of neat finds from estate sales. And I had that in the kitchen on that wall and it was just a bit much because, and I'm sure it was because of the ceiling height, because I really couldn't um, do anything on the top. And I just love adding in a few things. Everything up here is thrifted. Um, the vase, the tree candle holders, the vintage dictionaries, the wire basket, every bit of it is thrifted. And I just love the neutral tones to it. There's a peek of the dining room again. So I'm trying to think, where was I? Oh yes, it was here, but it just felt like, um, like it didn't work because it went almost up to the ceiling and it just felt like a little too much to me. So I'm kind of playing with some different ideas here. You see all my ironstone pile there. Um, normally I would have real fruit in there, but I haven't been to the grocery store. But this is uh, sort of a little industrial um, table that I had got at an estate sale. And I am debating between this one and I have like a white farmhousey one, but it needs to be cut down of what I want to put here. So that's kind of in flux. And then if you go this way is our bedroom, which I'm not going to go into. There's piles of laundry in there and nobody needs to see that while I'm working on it. But I do have a separate video for that if you want to see that. We have our little half bathroom, which is very small. And we had some water issue in there, you can see, so that I get to work on that wall and repaint it. But this is a very tiny little powder room and we just painted the cabinet. Years and years ago, we painted the cabinet, put a wood counter on it and some penny tile. And now, of course, uh, we found a vintage sink and I wanna change everything in here, but I don't know if we will. But this is normally where I'm washing all my paint brushes out. So if you show up unannounced, very likely there are going to be paint brushes drying on that counter. So, and then there is a our laundry room, which I have an entire video on of how we redid that. The builder, for some reason, thought it was a good idea to not have a door and to have a, um, and to have your laundry room right on the way to your powder room that your guests use. So not sure about the thinking in that. I got this huge chalkboard for $5 um, thrifting at the Goodwill bins and we just use this as some extra storage. I dream of a huge butler's pantry, but I have tried curtains and different things up there and it just cuts off light. And this being the north side of the house, that just doesn't work. We did add shiplap on the sides of our counter of our cabinets. We reused um, all of our cabinets except for that island. Oh, I wanted to show you down here I just added in some um, wallpaper, which I love. I have really wanted to use this wallpaper somewhere. And I'm debating whether I'm gonna go ahead and go around the other side. And we also just put up, I used a shutter and some hooks that I just bought off of Amazon and the shutter that I bought at a flea market and we made a little hanging area there. I just love it. And then this is of course our coffee the very vital coffee location and which gets used a whole lot and everything in our house gets very very used it's not an um a house that uh there's off-limit areas or anything like that it is busy here and it's not a huge house so 
it really it really gets used now the stairway what i didn't tell you about it is that it's pallet wood going up because gosh a good 10 years ago i ripped the, the carpet off of it because i couldn't look at it anymore and we had no money to do anything else about it and rob my husband started ripping up um pallet wood and putting it on there like a jigsaw puzzle so we've just kept it all this time this room i the door is off because i need to paint it another one that's in progress but it's come a long way this is my office in here and i just recently did a lot of work in here and i'm still not done but i just recently put up this wallpaper and i absolutely love it this one was from target the other one was just off of amazon and this is what is that boho line that they have i can't think of the name of it but that's it, it's right online on target and I just love it because it reminds me of a toile, but it's more boho and almost modern. So I love that about it. And the one accent wall works really well. And then I kind of have what we call Franken furniture over here. I bought this huge cabinet off of Facebook Marketplace. I painted it with um, Fusion Mineral in raw silk. And I already had this sofa table that I had bought at a flea market. So this top hutch piece belongs to this bottom piece. It's like an office furniture piece. But I wanted to be able to see my wallpaper and have my lamps. I still need to put, hook up my printers and I'm gonna put a curtain right there. But, um, so we just moved this over here and it works great. Okay, so this cabinet is going to hold all my paints. I have a lot more than this and probably a lot of my books, my uh, design books and gardening books and stuff. But what I'm going to do is add a little curtain down on the bottom here. I've already got the little curtain rods. And then so the stuff that I don't want to see will be down there. And then the prettier stuff will be up on top. And I've put some antique books and some just some different things up there. I've added in this. There's not good lighting in here. There's a skylight, which is really nice during the day. But at night, there's not good lighting. So I got this plug-in one from Ikea. I'm not finished here. I have to um, work on the cord situation with a cord cover. And... Here is a mirror that I had down in my bedroom and I've hung it this way just because there's just an odd little window in here and you'll notice three doors. So again, strange quirky cottage things, but um, this just adds so much more light, bounces that light around and almost feels like another window. I wanted to tell you this table was thrifted years and years ago and we just put new boards on it gosh probably about a year ago and these chairs were also thrifted along with the ottoman and they are slip covered and look at the cute little ties they have in the back and they were in a kia chair that the people had gotten comfort works Slip covers made for them, so they're really nice slip covers. We put some wheels on them, and we got all three pieces for about $100, but we had to drive and drive and drive. We were on our way to Kansas City, and we kind of went out of our way, but it was really well worth it because they're very comfortable, and I just love them. And I still need to get a curtain up there. I was going to paper wallpaper that door to just make it disappear, but I think I may do some molding on these doors and make them look a little nicer. And this was a crazy mess before, but now it's just sort of my decor closet and you can see most of it is throw pillows. <laughs> But um, just things that I'm not using or I haven't found a place for yet, but I'm not ready to get rid of yet. 
and so that makes it handy to be able to grab those things and that out the other closet is a long closet it goes all the way down and i put all my sewing machine sewing stuff all that kind of crafting supplies in there it's getting organized it's not completely organized yet but i can find things and then that goes to the attic and then just walking down the hallway here we did do shiplap here and i want to carry that over this we enclosed this loft to the right here is my son's bathroom and uh, bedroom there and that is a linen closet this used to be just a completely open loft and we added this wall and closed it in and made it a lot more useful it's got a beautiful high ceiling and a beam and i brought these cabinets these are thrifty cabinets that i had in my dining room for the last couple years but when i put that other cabinet in there i brought those up for bookshelves and just did some basket hangings here i'll kind of walk around this top picture was thrifted this one was a gift from my son. He painted it for me a couple Christmases ago. This is a garage sale find, a thrift store find. This was a piece of furniture at an estate sale. I just absolutely love it. I've got a little chair that's gonna go up to that. All my baskets are thrifted. Those little pictures are also garage sale. The striped pillow is thrifted. The other ones are Ikea. The lights are Ikea. These chairs, uh, these this couch and chairs rather, are the Farlov, but we got the velvet covers and I really like them. I'm gonna do a review on those soon. I didn't buy them for this space. I bought them for my living room, but when I found the Restoration Hardware ones, they came up here and I have finally, after much moving them around, figured out how it works. And this is a Pottery Barn trunk that I had bought years ago on a really good sale and the basket also. And it was gray and it was getting much the worse for wear so I ended up painting it. The pig is a flea market find. This um, cabinet over here was also an estate sale find from the same place that that one was and that galvanized one you saw in the kitchen. They had gorgeous furniture all through this designer estate sale. All of these uh, bigger shells and coral are thrifted as well as the um, quartz and stuff. And we've got our TV up here. I didn't try to hide it or do anything fancy there. Uh, it's just, it is what it is. This um, ladder was in the trash, and I think it was two old bunk beds. And the funny thing is we had it in our chicken house for probably eight years. We don't have chickens anymore, but we had them for over 10 years. And it was in there, and when we were cleaning it out, my husband was about to put it on the burn pile, and I said, oh no, oh no. And I scrubbed it up and painted it. And now it holds um, these quilts have been put away in my linen closet and I finally brought them out. Um, this is a quilt that my grandmother made for me when I was first married and it has been well used and loved, but now I'm just going to use it for display. This was a quilt she had made for my mother for her birthday and it's obviously a Victorian crazy quilt and she's got a lot of her hand embroidery on there. And this was a quilt that I made years ago for my youngest son. He's about to turn 23, so before he was born. And I've made several quilts, but I think this is one of my favorites. And I did have this quilt hanging on the wall, but we had used these little um, hooks. Well, they're little uh, wooden clamps, and I had just used the Gorilla mounting tape, and it just didn't hold, so we're gonna have to screw those little clamp things in. But this was a quilt made by my great-grandmother, cut out all the pieces and my grandmother quilted it. My grandmother on my mom's side that lived to almost 103, and she was an avid quilter and sold quilts, and they lived in the hill country in Texas. They really were live off the land kind of people. This 
lamp here is one that we DIY'd. I have an entire video on that, on how we did that just out of columns. And here are the Farlov chairs. And I think this rug is from Home Depot. The quilt is thrifted. The pillows, home goods probably. The picnic basket is thrifted. And I have a lot of antique books that I found at estate sales. I love finding those in particular. And I'm still working on this other side by putting some shelves in there. No vacancy sign thrifted. Um, every last thing up here is thrifted except for the bluish colored jar. And I love this United States map I got. I need to probably hang that on the wall and get it up higher to see. That was a Facebook marketplace for $10. Thrifted basket, thrifted picture. And usually we have a lot of plants up here. This turns into kind of the jungle in the winter <laughs> because it gets a really good amount of light in this other room too. So I tend to bring those in in the winter time. So one more view you can see from up here. Get a nice view of that stone that goes all the way up, which that is one feature that I really do like. Thanks so much for watching and I really enjoyed having you. Big thank you to Tanya for opening up her gorgeous home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration just like I did and make sure you guys tune in for all the other homes that we are going to be sharing this week for more inspiration. I will see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye.